OK, this is the Pico Crackers controller, which you can use in conjunction with the Pico MIDI cheese box, this guy here, to make wonderful sounds, or at least control sounds. This guy is a MIDI controller. He produces MIDI control signals, which you can use to control whatever you like. Uh, I've got it wired up at the moment. This is my MIDI cheese box, and I can press buttons, and nothing comes out, and you go, ha, 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 it's broken. I turn this knob here, and it gets louder, and now I've got... I can add some fuzz by turning this one up. I can reduce the, I can change the attack so it now goes. I can add persistence here by doing this one. Now you can see that as you move the knobs. You can see as you move the knobs that the sound changes. I can turn out all the signy bit and turn on all the fuzz. I can make it a very abrupt sound by turning those down. And I can play around with these things. If I wanted to, although I haven't set this up, I can have four, one, two, three, back to, end, back to blue settings uh, behind these knobs. And when you turn them, they actually reflect what the sound, uh, what the lights. <laughs> you can see you turn it and the lights change. I can keep on turning it beyond the stop. It'll just ignore that. I can change the, the ratio so it takes more turns to, to, to make the, the lights move and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to see the code that's doing this, and of course everybody does, then this is actually the pure data patch that's taking in the numbers. As I turn these knobs, you can see the values change and each of the uh, controllers produces a different number. This guy's producing 23. Channel 23, this is channel 21, channel 22, channel 24, and the value changes. This is being fed into the patch, which actually controls the sounds that are made. So this is basically a MIDI controller. You can do what you like with it. I've written a pure data patch that knows the controller numbers and the values and how to use them. You don't have to do that. I don't have anything on these colors at all. So you see that's 28, but nothing in my program uses that. That's the gold, the gold numbers. Then we have the green numbers. Then we have the purple numbers or magenta. Then we go back to blue again. So you can use this. It's effectively 16 knobs um, grouped as a, bun a bunch of four. And then remember where they are uh, by the lights. And that's kind of it. It's powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico uh, and some pixel rings and some shaft encoders. <laughs> that sounds kind of rude. No, it doesn't. Move on. Uh, and uh, so you can make it very easily. All the details of how to make it are actually on the thing which is appearing at the bottom of the screen even as we speak. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry it's a bit dark. It's really hard to make these lights show up properly without uh, burning everything out. That that's my excuse. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.